Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Sheridan Nichols, and you are watching Inside Bristol. And I have Laura and Kim Baker with me today, mother and daughter. You can tell in the eyes. You both are beautiful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for being with us today. And they're representing the American Heart Association here in Bristol. And we're sort of talking about the Queen of Hearts. Um, tell us a little bit about this fundraiser and um, your involvement. Uh, the Queen of Hearts, well, it celebrated its 50th uh, anniversary uh, last year and I learned last night that we're the only community in the United States that still has this fundraiser Wow! and it is it is um, really supported by the community mm -hmm. um, we raised I believe fifty five thousand dollars last year Wow! And in total amount, the Queen of Hearts since 1965 has raised uh, $2.3 million. That's amazing. Just in the Tri-Cities. And so the goal of the fundraiser and when these funds are raised and collected and donated, what, what's it for? How does it help? It goes to, to research and education um, for the American Heart Association. And it's, it's kind of like... Um, one in every, it's be the three of us, one of us is going to have a heart condition. And with education, I think that it would, it's going to be important that we reduce our risks, such as exercise, uh, of course, not smoking, um, our salt intake, um, just lifestyle changes. So now when is this event? It's going on right now and um, it ends the end of the middle of March. And last year, Laura, you were the queen. Yes. Is that right? Am I yes. saying this yes. right? Well, that, that's a huge honor. How did you get involved in that? And um, Well, my grandfather has had heart disease and two heart attacks, so it really motivated me to want to raise money for this association. And recently, my other grandfather had major heart problems, so I have a feeling that with all the money that I raised, it really actually helped his outcome in the end. I know you were sharing that with me before we actually started talking and sharing all of this with you. And, and really, is that why you started working with the organization? Because of, you know, you having this um, f close family members? Uh, yes, and um, heart heart disease runs in our family and it used to make me it used to really bother me because I would go to the doctor and my doctor would say that I had such a higher risk than my husband and I'm the one that exercises and I'm the one that eats right and you know I'm the one that tries to keep our family from you know uh, doing all the the bad things and now that my husband's father has been so sick, now my husband's getting his, on board with the healthy yes, lifestyle. Yes, <laughs> he yes. is saying, Kim, I should have been listening to yes. you a while ago. Because it's, it's pretty amazing, really. You've had, so then it was your father who had a heart attack at 48. Mm -hmm. So that is so incredibly young. And then he, you said he had another one. He, um, and the, the, I guess the, the reason why um, education is so important is because it's like with women, they may have the signs of having heart trouble, but they think they're just sick or they don't feel good. Right. And, and I've heard the symptoms for both are different. Mm -hmm. Like I've heard some women, like their tongue will tingle. Like there's different things that happen between, you know, men and women that are a little bit different. But you're right. I think education is, is great. And so, of course, all of these monies that are raised help and it's to not, raise awareness. And, and a heart attack is really not, they call it a, a Hollywood heart attack. Mm -hmm. When you um, see someone in the movies and it's like, you know, yes. and, and then... It's not like that. It, yeah, sometimes it, it, it's not as obvious. And um, I do think that if my father-in-law had listened to his signs, it could have been caught sooner. a little sooner. 
because, because they had a very huge scare in their family last week with, with almost losing him. He was yes. basically brought in with a 0% chance. Yes, of survival. Um, they, unless he had this surgery, um, and the surgery was very risky because he was so sick. Um, and uh, it was an eight hour surgery and they, they cut off, cut off all of the blood supply wow. to his whole body except for his, a little bit to his brain. But he had so much damage that they had to cut that off. And they told us that they were almost, you know, convinced that he probably would have some brain damage. Wow. But when he woke up, he was fine. He was fine. And this it is a miracle. miracle. It is a miracle. Well, we have some amazing doctors in this area. There is no doubt. So back to this fundraiser. I know it's so popular. Um, so if you are interested in going or want to help out, how do other people get involved and learn about the Queen of Hearts? Um, well, there's, um, I'm not sure how many candidates there are this year. They're from um, the area high schools. And you'll see around in um, stores, you'll see a Queen of Hearts bucket with a girl's picture, you know, donations that way. Um, also, if they're having a fundraiser, I know a girl um, Saturday is having a pancake breakfast at FAPS. And usually all this is in the newspaper. Okay. okay. Um, Laura, what did you do for your fundraisers? Um, I held a tennis tournament and the entry fee was like $50 and it all went to the American Heart Association and me and my campaign managers would go stand on State Street and ask people for donations or go to the Barter Theater before shows and ask people for their donations and we would just send it out to our friends and family and ask them for donations. And, and then you did that's the... That's a great idea. The, I love the tennis idea. The, Flamingos. Oh, and we would um, take flamingos and, and put, put them in the front yards. In yards that's and, yeah. I saw that happen to a neighbor of mine a couple days ago. <laughs> so that's great. So you've got some really creative ideas. And you were a senior last, a junior senior. I was a junior last. Year. Okay, so that's sort of the time to apply mm -hmm. for this. And and do you start that process in the beginning of the school year? When did you sort mm -hmm. of? I got into it a little bit late last year. Okay. But when did we start? Well, you, you, you are uh, nominated through your, through your school, okay. um, through teachers or advisors, and you have to fill out an application okay. and write a little essay of why you want to you do know, this. And you have to be committed, and then, you're, then the American Heart Association uh, nom well, I guess picks the girls that and how to. many girls generally are there? I think there are nine. Okay. Um, I think there are nine this year. That's great. And so if you nine, see nine if ten. you see these girls out, we definitely need to show our support, and and it really is just an amazing cause and a great fundraiser and an an awesome way to get involved. Not only if you're out of school and parents or friends, but also this is such a nice way to show our younger people like Laura how to get involved and give back. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to do that. So I'm sure you learned a lot. Yes, it was an amazing experience. Probably a little bit stressful at times yes. too. <laughs> it's definitely kind of time consuming, but it's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for being on today. We really appreciate it. And thank I'm you. really glad that your uh, father-in-law is doing better. Thank you. Thank you. So thank we will you. be right back. Stay with us. <laughs>